Will AI replace accountants? Well, this video is going to walk and talk you through all the different dynamics that you need to be aware of from a qualified ACCA accountant. Hello, my name is James and welcome to my channel. Before we begin and get stuck into the webinar straight away, I just want to say a massive thank you to the ACCA and LearnSignal team who have allowed me to upload this webinar to my channel and also as a little cheeky reward for you at the end I've also got a free CPD course all about AI that you can access for free and I'll also link you to where you can find the full webinar and to access it. But coming on to that question of will AI replace accountants in the future, short term, long term, I'm recording this in 2023, my answer to that would be no. But there are changes in the sector that if you want to be a qualified accountant, work in finance, you should be looking to utilize AI and to be developing yourself professionally so that you are not left behind with this. So let's break it down as to where AI is actually in accounting at the moment and being utilized by firms in practice, industry, people who have set up their own businesses or whatever it may be on there. Okay. Four little examples because it's going to be quite difficult for me to tailor this to absolutely everyone who's watching this recording back. But first of all, classic one on there, automation of the financial reporting processes. So I used to work in, uh, in practice all those years ago. You used to get clients who'd send in memory sticks and bank statements, all the rest of it. Those sort of repetitive tasks about pulling together transactions for a certain period that would be the same every year, more or less are being done by AI now. And that is where a software can pick up on the patterns and what is going on for that particular period. So those old days of doing bank reconciliations and putting it onto Excel are way long gone on there. So these are skills that you should not be looking to develop. You've got to be thinking more strategically, which we'll come on to later on in this webinar. Because the other areas that you've got to factor in and be aware of that AI is taking over in the accounting sector are in the audit profession, for example. So you might have a client who might be 10, 15, 100 million, 100, whatever it may be, vastness, okay? But I just want to think about the transactions relating to that client. That in the past, the auditor would go in, they'd check the client systems, they'd run reports on data that would be given, but the AI now can do it faster, more effectively, pick up on anomalies. This is how it's being put into different sectors such as tax compliance and planning as well to say, here are a client's records. The AI can actually go into the records, extrapolate out the relevant figures that they see fit for a tax return pull it all together, put in the relevant compliance because we've told the, the, the AI that it's actually maybe a farmer, for example, or it needs specific disclosures. And therefore, that is where an accountant would come in with their professional judgment and their uh, ethical uh, experience on there to say, hang on a second, I've got to go through this, I've got to review it. The AI is very good, but it does have its limitations. Another area which is very good is all about detecting and preventing fraud. It picks up on patterns, it looks for errors, are there any outliers or anomalies? This is something where human error, which used to happen and still still does on in, in the accounting profession, but AI reduces that risk and again will produce a report for someone who's qualified, or maybe training accountant on there, and then they would make their professional judgment to see if anything needs to be gone into a little bit of detail. So that comes down to the question of the webinar as to is AI taking over accounting? And my answer was no. So you're sitting there going, hang on, James, where am I going to add value in the accounting profession moving forward? Because AI is going to be growing and more money is going to be pumped into that sort of area that is going to help develop businesses. So within you as a role within an organization, you've got to be considering the strategic factors of the organization, any high or low risks that AI may struggle to actually pick up on on there. It will give you an idea, but you know the ins and outs, the strategies of the people who you work with, the relationships you have, building a rapport with clients. These are things that AI is not able to do, but you are able to and to make ethical judgments on there. I've also considered on here the scope of all transactions are reviewed and monitored, devising plans and strategies under reviewed areas. So it's quite hard to give a, a, an overview of absolutely everything. But what I'm trying to get at is that 
the AI can give us a review of a certain amount of information over a certain period or the transactions we've asked it to go through. However, it will need an, a qualified accountant with experience on there to actually review what the AI has done, what ethical considerations is it, has it been put into place, and are there any changes or dynamics from that particular client or anything that's happened in the industry that they need to be aware of or add any adjustments and then that has to be relayed to the client as well so all these sort of things are all about adding value and that is what you can do individually that yes AI will be coming into the accounting sector and already is in 2023 when I'm recording this but it's only be going to becoming more prevalent so this is where you need to enhance your skills and to be more up to date with what is going on in the sector and how it's being actually applied. So I thought it'd be really important so you can get some notes down and I've got some key reports that are going to be looking at the next five years that you've got to consider the key success factors in actually implementing AI in accounting. In other words, the critical success factors that can ensure effective implementation of accounting and then also how do we take that from AI and then do our relevant roles. So this is where, for those key success factors on there, I would break it down. If you're going away from today, maybe you're just starting your role, maybe you've been working in, in practice industry 10, 20, 30 years, I would separate it out as to AI being implemented in an organisation. You've got to consider the resources, the people, the skills required to actually put AI into practice because it's, it's going to be a balancing act as to, great, put AI into practice, and if you want to check out the other videos on my channel with relevant tools and actual softwares that you could implement obviously every company is different to one another but what can happen and i've seen it through cases online is people try to put ai into practice but the staff don't have the relevant training it's not been put into the systems effectively and it also links into as you can see on there the operational size the tools we're looking to the positives of better uh, efficiency, higher quality, compliance aspects not being missed. However, if it's not embedded into the organization effectively, which again is another area, as you as a qualified accountant would actually look to say, I understand my stuff here, I know how it needs to be put into play, and I know what we need to provide to our clients on that. The finance side of it as well as to how will the entity finance the needs of investing in AI tools. It's not cheap. There's going to be updates on there. You've got to look at the different softwares that you currently have in place. Can you embed AI into it? And that's where you also have to consider innovation to enhance and maintain competitive position. Because if you're not going to adopt AI, I can bet you any money that your competitors will be as well. And I'm not a betting man. <laughs> so AI and accounting. This is a nice overview from the full webinar that you can access if you click the description of this video down there. There is still a need for human accountants. We have to make ethical judgments. We have to say, what has the AI software produced for us? And are there any other ramifications that we need to take into account as to any potential errors that may have occurred? Are there any other factors that were not considered on there? Have there been any updates from the client that need to be actually put into play? Other areas that you'd be interested in in the accounting sector, we've touched on auditors. The role of the auditors has now changed. It's becoming a more sort of overview strategic role where the, the donkey work is done by AI and the softwares now that it will go through a massive set of data and look for those anomalies and anything that is a materiality threat. And we're looking at more strategic roles. The people skills are where it is going to be in the future that managing a team, communication with clients, these are the things that AI, as I said at the start of the recording, will be there. It's going to be a factor in this industry, but it's not going to replace accountants in the future fully on there. Just have a bit of research as to, say, the board of directors of FTSE 100 companies. I think it's about 51% are actually qualified accountants now on there because you've got to know your figures. You've got to know about your profitability, your cash flow, how efficient we are, contribution margin. These are the areas that you can add value as an accountant adopting AI to your advantage. 
And in doing that, it's really important that you keep up to date with developments in the AI sector and actually detecting the relevant solutions. That's what AI is all about. From the available data, what can we do from it? How are we going to extrapolate it? And this is just to showcase to you a couple of little reports now. You can see the links at the bottom next to me, but I'll put those in the description as well. The compound annual growth of 32.58% in the AI accounting market by 2028. It is here to stay and it is only going to be growing. It says in the actual report that North America is the largest area that is going to be adopting this, but it's going to be globally on there. It's all about how you use, how your firm uses AI and puts it into practice in its operations effectively and efficiently on there to help increase your market size. We've got on there the, the sales analysis as well to hopefully increase it and also the costing. Just to give you an actual uh, further insight from another report on there. So we've got the strap for your research. Again, the links at the bottom. This is all about artificial intelligence in, an, in the accounting market size, share, trend, forecast, that the accounting market size by 2029 will be around 8.69 billion, billion US dollars on there. So again, you're going to have to be doing your research as to natural language processing. If you want more details on that, pop me a comment below in the chat. More than happy to help. Or you can watch the full recording. I've got more details on that. We'll primarily drive the market growth on that. So it goes into a lot more detail. How it will be put into practice to say, if you've got a client, here are all their records. How does AI extrapolate the relevant information, put it into the relevant reports, and how can we as qualified accountants make the correct decisions? How can we submit the right figures on there to the relevant authorities such as HMRC in the UK? So I hope you found today's summary webinar recording really helpful. Again, a massive thank you to LearnSignal ACCA for allowing me to pop this on my channel. And as promised, you can see the QR code on the actual screen now. Sorry, I had to be a small little camera for you today. Um, I wanted to make sure we had all the content on there. Uh, if you scan that, that's got a free ChatGPT prompt for accountants. So using AI, which is a free tool with ChatGPT, so that you get more effective at using the software correctly. Obviously check that you're allowed to use that within your current role, or if you're just using it for your own research on there. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And feel free to share this, drop us a like, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you very much.